then Hello everybody, it is Nacho Dan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to install my mods that I use. So uh, yeah, so you, first of all you're going to go to the first link in the description and you're going to download this, it's going to be in a media file link and it's a .zip file containing my mods. So once you've downloaded it you want to open it up and uh, this is all the stuff that's inside it and now what you need to do if you're on Windows 10 like me you have to press Windows key R and then you type in percent app data percent but mine's already typed in because I go on it a lot you press OK you go on the first one dot minecraft and then you go to mods to your mods folder uh, if you don't have a mods folder just right click new folder and then just call it mods but just open up your mods folder and extract all of these into your mods folder I'm not going to do it because I've already got all the mods installed like so. So now you've got all my mods pretty much. So we've got armor status mods, this mod, I don't even know what it does, status effect, batteries coordinates mod, keystrokes mod, optifine, player API, toggle sneak, and resource pack organizer. And there's also an other folder as well with mods that I don't normally use, but I just have them in my mods folder just in case I need them. So this is item physics, which makes like the items like spin around like 3D. We also have player API and toggle sneak, which I don't really use that much, so that's why they're in here. But for the sake of this video, I've got them in my main mods folder, because I know a lot of people like to use toggle sneak. We also have tabby chat, but I don't really have a use for that. I just downloaded it just for the hell of it to see what it was like. It's, a, it's an alright mod, but I don't really use it that often, so that's why it's in the other folder. And we also have world edit, so if you're familiar with world edit on bucket servers, they pretty much made it into a forge mod, and it's really useful for building in single player worlds, and I actually used it to make my pack world, so yeah, it's really it's a really good mod if you're into building. I'm not really into building, it's just for my pack world. Okay, so next what you're going to want to do is you want to go to the second link in the description and download this .zip file called config. Now what you need to do is you need to open up your .minecraft, just how it is, right here. And you want to drag this config into your .minecraft so it replaces this. So this has pretty much got all my settings for all the mods. So you can pretty much have all your mods set up like mine. And lastly you want to go to the third link in the description and that is bat mod. So pretty much what this is, this is for Batty's coordinates mod. And it pretty much makes Batty's coordinates mod looks like this. Because by default it's different colours but I, I just changed it and a lot of people want my settings for it so... I'm going to include this in the description as well. So this is pretty much all my settings that I use. It's a dot properties file, so all you, all you need to do is just drag it into your dot Minecraft and it'll be right there. So now to have a look at some of my mods in action. So as you can see, I've got keystrokes mod on. If you want to change the position of this, all you have to do is you have to do slash keystrokes mod. And you can enable it and disable it. You can change the position like that. You can change the mode. I normally have it on this, you can see left left mouse button and right mouse button. But you can also make it sprint as well, and you can make it all three. But I normally have it on this. Also, we've got the Dan client. <laughs> I included the Dan client in this. If you want to change it, I'll show you how to in a second. So a lot of people have been asking for the Dan client and the download for it. It's pretty much just toggle sneak. I just renamed it Dan client and gave it a nice blue color. Also, as you can see, I've got armor on and it appears in the hot bar right here. So uh, this is good for if you're playing like UHC or something and you want to see your armor just like that and instead of having it like all around the screen. But you can literally just look at your hotbar, see your armor and it's really good. Also if your armor starts to break, as you can see it's on 100% right now because it's not broken. But as it starts to break it will go orange and red and the percent will obviously go down. Also say if we were to eat a golden apple right here, as you can see we've got status effect that appears in the hotbar as well. So this is pretty useful. You can see like how long the potion effects that you have on you is going to last. And yeah, so this is all included in the config. This is pretty much armor status and status effect. But if you download that config file in the second link in the description, you'll be able to have it in the same position as me. Alright, so now I'm just going to show you how to change toggle sneak if you don't like it saying Dan Client. So pretty much what you need to do is you need to go to the fourth link in the description and you need to download this J JB edit something, I don't know. All I have to do is just open it up and then you need to go to your toggle sneak, drag it into JB edit, 
I'm just going to call it that. And you want to go to tools, find string. And then what you're going to have to do is you're going to type in this bracket, not this bracket or this bracket, but like the squared off bracket. And you want to type in Dan client and then press OK. And as you can see, first thing that comes up, right click, go to methods. So everything that's in green here, you can change. So all you have to do is just right click on it, click edit and you can change it to whatever you want. I'll leave some color codes in the description as well if you want to change it to different colors, but I have it on. You have, to have, you have to use this symbol and then whatever color code you want. So I made mine into a kind of nice blue color and it goes with the Batty's coordinates mod as well. So that's why I have it like that. I also renamed flight to fly hacks as well. <laughs> so once you're done changing all the stuff here that's in green, all you have to do is click file, save, and then close out of it. Also an important point to mention is you're also going to need forge. So if you don't know what Forge is, just Google it and download the 1.7.10 version. And then it will create a mods folder in your .minecraft and then all you have to do is just extract my mods from the .zip into your mods folder. So yeah, now we're on the main Minecraft screen. Now I'll just open up mods here. These are all the mods I have right now. So yeah, Optifine, Minecraft Coder Pack, Forge. These are all Forge stuff, you don't really need to care about them. Player API, that's just so toggle sneak will work. Uh, this is just so the armor status and the status effect work. If you want to see my armor status HUDs config, then you can just copy it all down here. But I'm pretty sure this will be in the config folder. So I don't think you have to copy it down. But if for every reason it doesn't work, then you can copy it down here. Make sure these are both on percent as well if you want it to be like mine. And also I'll give you my settings of status effect. There you go. And there you go. So just pause the video if you missed any of that. So yeah, that's my mods folder for you guys. Hope you guys enjoy it. This is kind of like a little different video today, kind of like a tutorial kind of video. But let me know if you want to see more of the. I'm doing this instead of Badline PvP today because, in my opinion, Badline is kind of broken with the knockback and stuff. But I thought I'll do kind of like a helpful video today if you, to help you guys out. So yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.